So I guess um, you just need baking soda and aluminum foil and hot water to clean silver. I've seen it done on YouTube videos and I'm going to try it here. Um, and so I boiled some water. I'm just going to pour it in. Uh, it's like boiling, boiling water basically. Um, and then you can see, like here, this is tarnished silver. You can see how tarnished it is. And it should. I wonder if I should stir it up. Oh, it's probably okay. I should um, disappear almost right away. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> it's gone. That's amazing. Yeah, it really works. You just put aluminum foil and baking soda and hot water. Oh wow, that's just perfectly clean now. That's crazy. Oh, that's really hot. But uh, here, I'll try a candlestick. Some things it doesn't seem to do as well, like the dirt isn't like tarnished as much or something. Or I, from what I understand, the purity of silver, if it isn't as pure of silver, then it doesn't work as well. The purer the silver, the better this works. Yeah, it's not working so much with this one. It does say... I can't read it. Anyways, it says sterling on there. But it doesn't work very well. This. I'll try it with uh, a really tarnished Canadian quarter that's like uh, silver, well, largely silver. I forget the percentage for this. I, don't know. I think it's like almost like sterling silver, or maybe it's eighty percent or something. But that's really tarnished. I don't know. Yeah, it's not doing anything. Oh, it has to be touching the... I forgot. It has to be touching the... Um, the aluminum for it to work. Otherwise, it won't work. I forgot about that. That's what they said in the videos. A few people said that. So it must be really true. That it has to actually be touching the aluminum. You can't just dip it in the water. Um... Try that one, 10 ounce bar. Uh, let's see how tarnished that is. We can compare it after, but um, I don't know, maybe a Morgan dollar. Try that. So I've been pulling them out, and it, some of them are pretty grungy. I mean, the water's pretty grungy. Some of them are still pretty um, whatever, but you can see when I, it, I don't know if you can see in the water, it, when it drips down, it's like you can see it's. It come off of it and make a mark in the water so it's still coming off of them 
It's just maybe the really, really tarnished ones need to be done like one or like two times or three times or something. Um, because th this water is just you know murky now, it's really changed color quite a bit. The water, so now it's probably not working very well, but you can see it, it just wipes right off. Um, and yeah. Uh. Yeah, it just wipes right off. It is dying. You can see it's still like that, but then you just rub it. And it's getting a lot better. Yeah, some of them I'll just do it again. Let's clean, clean or do it all over again with, and uh, the water won't get so grungy, I think. And then I'll have nice shiny coins. Another thing I was thinking is if it's the end of the world and like, I don't know, financial cr crisis really hits and, or, you know, like if we lose um, contact with like the internet, stuff like that, we won't have access to information like this. I always go on the internet to find out how much silver content in this, is in coins, like how much is in a silver dime, a silver quarter of a certain year. And, uh, so really, if it's the end of the world, no more computer contact or anything like that, and you want to try to buy, say, a loaf of bread for a dime, and they're like, no way, you know? You need to have like a book to show them, look, this is how much silver content is in this dime. Um, and then they'll say, oh yeah, okay, fine. I'll take it, you have a loaf of bread, you know what I mean? In the end of the world. Like, but you have to be able to have that information handy because nobody does. I mean, the only place people have it is on check, check, check the computer. You could probably print out that information. I'm going to print it out. I'm going to find it on the internet and print it out. But I went and got these books. Um, this is more just recent coins in the U.S. It's not a very good one. This one... Uh, uh, Canadian coins it shows silver content all the way through the years and uh, yeah it's just just in case like in the end of the world and uh, people want to start people want to uh, know how much silver content is in things because I mean you know what Romans you, you worked all day slaved all day 12 hours a day for this right here that much silver that was a normal wage in Rome, ancient Rome, uh, you know, around like like 2,000 years ago. Before that, I mean, you go in the Bible, right? And there's that story where a denarii, um, the workers, they were, it's a story they tell in the Bible where this guy has some workers in the field and then some of them are working all day and then he gets some new guys at the end of the day and uh, they hardly work like one hour or something and then they get paid the same they get paid one denarii and then the people are com the guys that were working all day were complaining that that they, anyways it's just a story in the Bible but they, they, they worked for a denarii they, it was about this much silver all through history they've worked for silver the name art for silver in French is argent and the name for money in French is argent. Exact same word. You know, it's silver is money, money is silver. It's always been like that all the way through history. Thousands and thousands of years. And so, um, why not, why wouldn't it happen again, you know? It's going to eventually happen again. There's something about silver that's very, uh, very, I don't know, holds, holds value, just like gold. Um, and uh yeah so yeah this works pretty well but um some of them are just so tarnished and then it makes some water all murky and uh needs to be done again 
I saw people uh, using toothbrush and toothpaste on them um, before they did this. Like at first they brush them with the toothpaste, toothbrush, toothpaste, and then and then put it into the water. I don't know how much that helps, but I'll have to try that. Anyways, that's it.